I got involved in being part of a team who were advising the British government on how education might change in the next 25 years as a consequence of technological developments. This wasn't about what skills people would need, it was about rethinking the landscape of education. My particular responsibility was around identity and community and civic education in the context of new technological developments. It's an astonishing fact that all the world's knowledge ever is accessible to every kid in their bedroom today. Should they choose to seek that resource? The problem, of course, is that many of them don't. Young people have become the agents of their own enculturation. They become the agents of their own seeking of resources. How can we use this seen for educational purposes. We need to think of education as bottom-up, cooperative and interactive. We need to look at where kids are in their relationship with the world. We need to say, what are they doing anyway? How can we think of it from the point of view of that perspective? A perspective which is cooperative rather than competitive, collaborative rather than isolated, and highly tuned to technology which is within the scope of everybody. One of the things I think is going to be a victim of these developments, or perhaps not a victim, but a, thank heaven we can get rid of it, is individual assessment. We're struggling at the moment with the idea that the new technology creates potential plagiarism or even cheating. Those concepts apply to the individual lone problem solver model of learning. If we treat all learning as collaborative, or most learning as collaborative, most pursuit of knowledge and understanding as collective and cooperative, then we will have to find ways of assessing the collective product rather than the individual product. I had a really profound experience doing this report. On the one hand, my eyes were opened to the implications for education and the way that traditional conventional models of thinking about education and the teacher's role as basically top-down, conduit, essentially passive individual, had to be replaced with a model where the teacher was a choreographer of bottom-up interactive relationships between children and each other, children and technology, children and the whole world of knowledge. And at the same time as realising that education has to be rethought was also the realisation that it's all fitted into the models I was using. It fits so well into thinking about the individual as an active tool user. The individual as an active tool user working with, interacting with others, teachers, parents, peers, through media, through technology, with the culture. So it was an exciting conclusion to feel that the model I've been thinking about, the tool user model, the tool user in the wider cultural context, is consistent with the kind of changes that I see that we need in education to take account of the world in which our kids already live.